In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to use eight wonderful words instead of the word say. So instead of just saying, he said this or she said this, you'll have eight other verbs that you can use that basically communicate the same idea as say, but more specifically and more precisely. Okay? So let's look at what they are. The first word is announce. When we announce something, we say it publicly. For example, he announced that he was running for president. Or we could announce, say something officially. He announced that she had won the contest. Or also we announce something when we say it loudly. For example, they announced that the flight was ready for boarding, right? So this means announce something public, something official, something loud sometimes, okay? The meaning varies a little bit, but I think from the examples, you get a good idea of what it means to announce something, all right? Think of a president standing like this, and he's making an announcement. He's saying something official to announce something. All right, next, mention. Mention is much quieter. Mention is when we say something quickly, or we say something in passing, all right? So the, uh, an example could be, he mentioned that he was looking for a job. He mentioned it, okay? He didn't come out and announce it. He just mentioned it in passing. Or our, um, our very famous uh, Canadian singer named Gordon Lightfoot had a beautiful song many years ago called, Did She Mention My Name? So what does it mean to mention, did she mention my name? This is a song about somebody who was in love with someone and he wanted to know, does she still remember me? So when you met her, did she mention along the way, did she mention my name? Did she say my name in passing? Okay, so that's the word mention. All right, next, insist. So to insist is like this, he insisted. So for, or she insisted. So to insist means to say something firmly, to say it forcefully. And usually we do this in the context when somebody is saying one thing and you are saying something else, or two people are saying different things and one person is insisting, no, it's like this. Perhaps the other person is insisting, no, it's like that. So what does that sound like? Well, very often in court, we see this kind of drama going on, right? One person is saying, no, I'm innocent. The other side is saying, no, you're guilty. So this person is insisting he's innocent. And the other side is insisting he's guilty. Okay? You see the idea of insist? You can look at it like this, if you want to think about it physically, right? Or, for example, it doesn't have to be that dramatic, sometimes even in regular life. For example, you go to dinner with some friends, and you insist on paying, but they say, no, we're going to pay. You can't pay. We want to pay. And they insist on it. So they insisted on paying for dinner. Okay. So it can also be in regular social situations. Okay. That we use this word. Okay. The fourth one to deny. Here's the physical representation of deny. It's like no. So to deny means to say no or to say no. It's not true. For example, a famous president some years ago denied that he was having an affair. Or to deny, as I said, can mean it's not true. So let's say uh, she denied being present at the scene of the crime. That, mean, that means she said, no, I wasn't there. Okay, she denied. See my body language? To deny. This was to insist. This was mentioned, and this was to announce, okay? Like you're standing behind a podium and you're announcing something, all right? So if you do these actions, they'll also help you to link this vocabulary in your mind, okay? So these are the first four. I'm going to give you four more in just a second. So number five, estimate, okay? To estimate means to say approximately, okay? Roughly not exactly, all right? For example, they estimated it would take three months to finish the building. 
or they estimated the project would take would cost five million dollars. Okay, so to estimate your visual could be they estimated. Okay, you're not exactly sure. It's not a precise um, uh, statement. It's a guess, sort of an estimate. Okay, they estimated. Number six, complain. Okay, we have all complained. So when we complain, what do we do? We show that we are unhappy with something. We're dissatisfied with something. For example, you could complain about the poor service that you uh, experienced in a restaurant. You could complain about a dirty hotel room. You can complain about lots of things, okay? Usually when we're complaining or if we see people complaining, we can tell because they're not happy. Let's say they're complaining. They're looking like this. Sometimes they're disappointed like this. Sometimes they're a little bit more forceful, but when we're complaining, some people are very angry, some people are a little bit quieter, but there is no happiness on the face, usually. Okay, so your visual could be like this, or something else that you create to fix in your mind the image of complaining, all right? Next, number seven, to report, okay? If you watch the news, you know that to report, okay, let's pretend this is my microphone, a reporter will stand there and give information, give the news. So to report means to give information about something. For example, you could say they reported that the hurricane was approaching. So it could be that you report something that happened or something that is going to happen or that something is happening. Okay, so it could be past, present, future, doesn't matter. Or they reported that, uh, in a business context, they reported that sales had increased in the last quarter. Okay, so it's not always with a microphone, but that's a good image for you to keep in mind if you want to remember this word, report. All right, next, claim. Okay, now claim is to say something strongly without proof, okay? The proof isn't there yet. So when somebody claims something, we say, um, I, the police might say, I don't, we don't know. He claims that he was at home during the robbery, during the time of the robbery, okay? He claimed that. We don't know that because there's no proof, okay? Or you could say they claimed that they had mailed the check, but we didn't get anything. We didn't receive anything. So your visual for claim could be something like this. I don't know. Now that doesn't mean that the person who is claiming something or the other side that's claiming something is telling a lie. It could very well be true. All this word means is that somebody is saying something, but there is no proof or there's no proof yet. All right. So to review, to estimate like this, he estimated it would take that long to complain, no, terrible service, to report, or to claim, I don't know, that's what he claimed, I'm not sure, okay? So, if you really want to master these words now, these eight good words that you can use instead of the word say, then please go to our website at www.ingvid.com, and there you can do a quiz on this, so these words, right? So you can really be sure exactly how they're used. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can continue to get lots of lessons about how to improve your English very quickly. All right, thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.